boxes this whole game. I think they could just run the ball all game against a Miami defense that is not that good. Um, and I think Joe Flacco could just make one or two plays, and the defense will take care of the rest and completely snuff out the Dolphins' def offense. This is a great matchup for Baltimore. So I think Baltimore wins like 30 to 15, 30 to 14. Final matchup, Eagles-Vikings. Everybody loves the m Eagles in this game. Be careful. We're talking about Andy Reid, Donovan McNabb, and these Philly Eagles. They blow timeouts. They blow challenges. They don't manage the clock well. They cannot convert in short yardage. They look lethargic at times. They have bad play calling. Be careful when you tease this game with something else. But then you look at the Vikings. Yes, they have Adrian Peterson. Yes, they have a very good home field advantage in the Metrodome, which is one thing you need to consider when you're looking at this game. But they have Tavares Jackson. He's a crappy quarterback, and this last month is not going to convince me otherwise. He's a crappy quarterback. That's all he is. Until further notice. So, even though they have <coughs> Adrian Peterson, even though they have a pretty good defense... I think the Eagles, even though I think they will do some stupid things in this game, are going to be able to get their points against a Vikings defense that has lost Pat Williams and E.J. Henderson. Um, I think they're going to be able to get some points there. So, And then you look at the <coughs> Vikings offense. They cannot really pass the ball. Gus Farad or Tavares Jackson, whoever it is, they cannot really pass the ball. Tavares Jackson will probably make two or three really dumb mistakes in this game. The only way I think the Vikings win is if they get a big lead early. If they get a big lead early, the Eagles will start to frantically pass the ball, probably throw a lot of incompletions, and not move the ball, never get drive started. And at the same time, you have the Vikings who will not ask Tavares Jackson to pass the ball in this situation because they're up. They can just run the ball with Adrian Peterson and run the clock that way. That's how the Vikings win this game. They're going to need a special teams touchdown. They're going to need a, a huge touchdown run by Adrian Peterson. They're going to need a bunch of big plays early in the game. That's how they win. However, the Vikings are terribly coached. They have terrible special teams. They're poorly quarterbacked. So I'm going to go with the Eagles in this game. 24 to 17 Philadelphia. Those are my picks. Those are three road teams. Now, I thought about taking four road teams. But that's not going to happen. Four road teams will never win all in the same weekend in the playoffs. It's never going to happen, guys. So I had to pick one road team. I am picking Arizona. But for the record, I am rooting for all road teams to win. Atlanta, Philadelphia, Baltimore, and Indianapolis. Those are my personal picks. The teams that I want to win. Um, since I've already gone way over and might as well just keep pushing it. Uh, Peyton Manning did win MVP as I thought he would and felt he deserved. You know, that's a debate that we'll never solve. I could go into it more. Right in this video, I won't. Maybe in future videos, I'll discuss why Peyton Manning is the most valuable player of this season. He won in a landslide. He destroyed everybody else. He had 32 votes. Second place had like four, I think. So, big ups to him. Um, one of the big news breaks in the last couple of days was the coaching firing. So, let's look at those. The Browns fired Romeo Cornell. It had to happen. Romeo Cornell looked dead out there. The Browns weren't winning games. They were very disappointing this year. It had to happen. So... Yeah, of course that. I definitely think that was the right choice. Um, the New York Jets fired Eric Mangini. Eh, he had some success, and I don't want to throw everything on him, but I think this was a move that had to be made because coaching was the number one problem for the Jets this year, and it cost them the playoffs. So I think yeah, firing Mangini was probably the right thing to do. I think you got to get rid of Bob Sutton and Brian Schottenheimer next. Lions fired Rod Marinelli, of course, had to happen. I think he's a decent guy, I think he could do well in the right situation, but I know why they did it, I understand why they did it, and I kind of support it. The Broncos fired Mike Shanahan. Now, I don't agree with this one. He's an offensive guru, and the Broncos offense 
even though they had all those injuries, they had a thousand freaking injuries, had a great offense. They were able to run the ball reasonably well with whoever they plugged out there. They had a excuse me, um, dynamic passing game with, you know, uh, several young guys. They were really able to pass the ball well. I don't agree with this one. Yeah, the Broncos choked, missed the playoffs, big disappointment. It wasn't because of Mike Shanahan. Mike Shanahan is an offensive genius, and the offense did their job. Only thing the offense could not do was protect the ball. They turned it over a lot and were very careless. But I think on the whole, you have to be satisfied with the job they did. The defense needs an overhaul. That's what it comes down to, and really, who are you going to get that's better than Mike Shanahan? He's won two Super Bowls. He's consistently made the Denver Broncos a contender. When they're bad, they're not terrible. They're right in the thick of things. The defense has been the problem for a couple years now. So, I don't agree with this. Who are you going to get that's better? Uh, some other coaching firings that I think need to be made. Uh, Brad Childress, I think, is an awful coach, but he will stay because the Vikings did win the division. Um, let's see what else here. I guess Jim Zorn's going to keep his job for another year. I support it. I think you need to give him another shot. Uh, I think if the Chargers lose this weekend, Norv Turner might go. Yeah, get Norv Turner out of there. He is not the guy for the job. Wade Phillips is still there. Um, I'll talk more about Dallas in a later video because there's so much to talk about there. Um, Jack Del Rio, I think, needs to get out. I don't think he was ever that special of a head coach. I think he was just kind of a cool guy, not a very good head coach. I don't know if they're going to keep him or not. Um, the Saints and Sean Payton, I'm going to say keep him because he's a good offensive mind, but he does a lot of stupid things. Give him one more year. We know Mike Holmgren's out, but that's not a surprise. He was going to quit. He's not getting fired. He's quitting. Um, I think John Gruden, it's time for him to get canned. If you give him an offense, if you give him the players, he can be good. But if you give him the players and tell him, okay, you need to train these guys, you need to bring them up, you need to, you know, teach them about the NFL, he cannot do it. So, he was good for the Bucks when they brought him in because they had a great defense in place, they had the offensive players in place. All John Gruden had to do was play call and coach players who already knew how to get it done. Now they need to breed and train new guys, and John Gruden cannot do that. So I say get him out of there. It's time. Marvin Lewis, get him out of there, piece of trash. Cannot coach, awful coach, get him out of there. Um, Dick Gerrard, same deal, get him out, get him out. Uh, I guess there's some talk about Gary Kubiak. I say keep him. I think he's done a good job. Houston would have been in the wild card hunt if not for Hurricane Ike. That's how I feel. We, Tony Dungy will not get fired this offseason no matter what. He might quit. I don't know what's going to happen there. Uh, Mike McCarthy, I say keep him. I say he deserves another shot. He's done some good things. He's done some bad things. I say keep him on. Jim Hazlitt, mm, I can go either way with him. I'd say keep him. Herm Edwards, get out, get out. Come on now. Awful. He could not hold a lead. He kept blowing leads late in the season. Come on. What does he have to do? Get get him out of there. Tom Cable of the Oakland Raiders. I'm going to say keep him one more year. He did some decent things the last half of the year. So, I've gone on long enough. Those are the big things going on in the NFL this year. Going to be a great wild card round. See you guys later.